Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you how to use the frames option, which is actually hidden here right behind the schedule. So if we go there and I will open a new schedule, select your supported device as usual. And here you basically can see your schedule as you're used to. Now in the top right corner, there's this frames option. If you select this and click on edit frames, you will get this overview. Here you can select the display resolution. Now the display that I have connected is in portrait mode, so I will select this as well. And here you basically get to see the different layouts that the frames option offer. It might be similar to the web art templates, however this is just for easier use. So if I would like to split my devices in two, I will select this for option, click on next, and here you get to insert the content. So for frame one, I would like to use this video. I will select it. And the same goes for frame two. Make sure to select the frame permission, which is the default setting. And you can save it. So what happens now is that you basically create a schedule for the top half of your device. So if I insert a certain content item right now, for example, this one, this will mean that the video that I just inserted in here will be covered in the top half of my device. Now, if I click on the bottom half, you can see it's empty again. And this is because I have to set my content item first for the bottom half as well, which I will take this image for. And if I will now click on save and save and publish and select my device right there, it will now send a schedule to my device. And if I open remote control, you can see that on the top half, it will now play a video, which I just selected in the bottom half it will now show an image and this is basically how to use frames it's basically a cool template which you can divide your display in various sections and you can actually send content to those sections specifically now another option for the frames is as following if we take a closer look and we go back to the edit option here is the overall default content. This basically means whenever the content of both frames will be deleted, it will still show a default content item. This has to be a video at all times or a document, but preferably a video. And what happens then if the content of both frames will be deleted, the default content will always be running. So this will prevent you from having the magic info wallpaper running all over again. Now you can also set content specifically to each frame. So for now, as you can see, both frames have the same default content item, but you can change this uh, by selecting the frame and then search for your default content item. Now, if you go back to the multiple frames option and select this one, you can here again see the four frames. So this will mean my device will be divided into four pieces and I can set content to each frame specifically. Now, this is a great tool to spread your content. You have to make sure to insert the content into the schedule of each frame once you have selected it. And then once you have done that, you can save your schedule and publish it to your devices. And this is how to use frames. Thanks for watching.